All right, guys, question number 51. Let's get right into it. All right, so I have 12 jurors are needed for an upcoming trial. The diagram below illustrates a part of the jury selection. The 12 jurors will be selected from a jury pool of about 60 people. The court records show a trend that only 40% of the people who are summoned for jury duty actually appear. So that means that whenever they send out a bunch of invitations, um, or I guess mandates technically, um, only 40% of them show up, okay? So some of them just skip. Now, it says that of those that actually appear, uh, one third of them are excused. So they're like, yeah, you know what? We don't think you're cut out for this, right? Uh, if the same trend continues, how many people should be summoned to have as close as to 60 people in the jury pool? All right, guys, so basically what we're saying is we have to start with some number of invitations, and we need to give enough invitations so that based off these statistics, we will have 60 people at the end. So what we have to do is let's think about this mathematically, okay? So if I start with a number, only 40% of the people are actually going to stay, okay? So that means that we're going to have this number, and we're going to need to multiply it by 0 0.4. So 40% of them are going to stay. Now here's the thing, um, one third of these people leave. So that means that only two thirds of the people actually stay, right? Or are excused. So this entire thing, that has to be equal to 60, all right? So let's go ahead and, and do some math here. So we're gonna have n and then the 0 0.4 is just 4 tenths. So n times 4 tenths multiplied by two thirds has to equal 60. So I'm gonna have n multiplied by 8 thirtieths and that's going to have to equal 60, so I'm going to multiply by 30 over 8. I should cancel out. Then I'll multiply by 30 over 8. So I will be left with n equals 1,800 divided by 8. All right, guys, so let's think about how we can do this here. Will it be a clean number? This is going to be 225. And actually, hang on, sorry, let me just double check that. 1,800 divided by 8, yep, 225. All right, guys, so our answer is going to be D. So hopefully that made sense. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.